Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to another postcard. This one is coming to you from Brighton. We hired a car in London and drove down to Brighton and we booked an apartment for seven days so we could explore the area while we're down here. And, and it's been a lot of fun. And tonight is our last night. Sorry about the lighting, but um, the one thing I've learned in the UK is they don't seem to maintain their lighting. Every place we've stayed, there's been globes blown or not working. The master bedroom, which I'm in, the big center light doesn't work. So I've got all the lamps on because it's late at night. And our last night, I thought I'd do a bit of a video. So one of the things we did was explore all the shopping in Brighton and have a look around. And I discovered there was a hobby craft store. Now, a lot of UK content providers and podcasters mention hobby craft. So I wanted to go and have a look, of course. So we went off and had a look. It's probably a lot like our spotlight store. A lot of fabrics, a lot of craft, paper craft, and some yarn. Not as much yarn as I thought there would be. It's, I did take a video of photos and I'll put that at the end so you can have a look. I did, however, buy 24 balls of yarn. Yes, I bought 24 50 gram balls of knit craft everyday DK, this one. There are 137 meters in a ball. So DK, three weight, it's a decent DK, three weight, eight ply. They're the ones, we should have one universal language for cotton, for wool as to what it is. It's beautiful and soft. And I thought they were having buy two, get one free. And I thought, well, I'll get enough for a blanket. And I did buy a lot of colours. So 24 balls means I bought two of each colour, which means there's 12 colours. I won't show you them all, but I did tend to go for bright colours. I wanted something nice and bright. And I will put them in a blanket. When I got out of the store, things said, oh, are you mailing those home, are you? And I went, no. He goes, well... We can only have 23 kilos when we fly to Prague. And I went, oh. But then we discovered online I can actually buy an extra seven kilos for luggage, for excess luggage. But we will see how we go. So one of the days we went off to Dover because I wanted to see the white cliffs of Dover. Um, it's something from my childhood. So the white cliffs of Dover, my dad used to have Play, they played on 74. They were really hard vinyl, big records that he used to play. And he used to play Vera Lynn's When the Bluebirds Fly Over the White Cliffs of Dover. It's a song from the wars. And um, he played it a lot. And I, I always liked the song and I was always curious about the White Cliffs of Dover. So we went to see them. It was a bit of a hike to get to them, hence why I have a bit of a chest infection. I have what I call COVID lungs. I can hike, but if I am breathing in really cold air, I will get a chest infection. It's happened every time. And sure enough, I got a chest infection. I should have remembered to put like something over my nose and mouth and not make the air so cold. But anyway, I'm getting there. Um, they're not pure white like you see in the movies or the, on postcards. They're actually a, a very pale sandstone. There is lichen and other stuff growing on them. But it definitely put a tick on my bucket list and made me think of my dad. If I can find a link to the song, I'll put it in the description below. Just have a listen to while you're crafting. In Dover, which I probably say in the, this trip, as this part of the trip, has been a real highlight. It was easy to navigate around. It was, we had a lovely lunch, a lovely day. We'd explored the shops and yes, I bought stuff in Dover. So there was just like this little arcade and you can tell that the town has gone through really tough times. There are a lot of places closed, but in this one arcade, they'd split it into little market store booths of different things. And the lady I noticed had yarn. And I went in and she had other things. So one of the things I liked was this little pouch. 
I'm a hooker in my spare time. I, she put them in these plastic bags for me because she knew I was travelling. They didn't come in those. She just put them in there. Thing picked this one because he said it was me down to a T. Crochet fills my days. Yarn fills my living room, dining room, bedroom, closets. That's that one. They're really cute. The other thing I bought from her, I like this sign, crochet because murder is wrong. She put this in a bag. It's a metal sign. I really like it. It's got like this. I don't know if you can really see it in this lighting without flaring. It's a purple dragon. So that's some of the stuff I bought in Dover. Now, my luck of the draw number nine is a Starcraft blanket. I won't be a moment. I am a bit behind on my luck of the draw, I think, week two. I've done week two and I think three's out and four's about to come out. So week one was the cloud blue. Week two is the matador red. My base colour is sunshine yellow. And I said that I would get some when I was over here. Now, I discovered if I wanted to deliver it to my son's apartment from Wool Warehouse, it takes 10 days by Royal Mail. Their mail is slower than ours. And I said to him, not to worry, I'll probably just order it when I get back if I don't see any on my travels. Well, there was a yarn shop in Dover and she sold Starcraft, basically Starcraft. So here it is. These are going to be my egg colors. They look, the greens and the blues in this light look very similar. There's those three and those three. So I will tell you the colours as I make them and pick. what I'll do is I'll throw them in a bag and number three will be whatever thing picks out for me. And I will use those for my luck of the draw number nine. The Starcraft Special DK is beautiful and soft. And um, like this shade is turquoise. And there is, and I did look at it before, but now I've forgotten because of this stupid cold um 322 yards 295 meters in a ball so there should be enough for me to make my blanket i did buy one other style craft aaron I, this is so soft it's beautiful i wanted to try it it's called impressions and it's aaron weight um it's a little fine for an aaron weight but i really like the colors and it is parasol it's blues and and I thought I'll get that in case I want to do a bod hat a palooza pattern. Although I wasn't keen on this week's pattern <laughs> again. But I'm sure another one will come out and I will use it. So that was my shopping in Dover. We, for a town that's struggling, we helped the economy. I spent quite a bit. And the first time I've really gone, besides the hobby craft, I have bought a lot of yarn. And yeah, it will go into my blanket. Um, I we we went to Portsmouth. Oh no, and I wasn't feeling the best. That's when it really hit me hard. It wasn't a fantastic town. It is basically a port and military and like navy and all that. Um, and we did have a look around, but basically we came back. It was about an hour's drive away. We came back, and I spent a whole day lying around the apartment because I was pretty crook that day that which is yesterday and doping up on stuff to make me feel better i did a bit of crafting won't be a moment so the crafting i did is my traveling project blanket this one Ta -da! i've actually finished the blanket itself that way the size of the blanket i am currently going around the edge doing a envelope border to close in the end so it'll only be small I'm hoping by the time I finished, it will be 40 by 40, which is what I need. But it has turned out really well and been really easy to make. So that is the only crafting I have been doing. I've got to do a hooker versus hooker challenge. I've not really started it. I bought the yarn. I'll use some of that um, hobby craft yarn on it, I think. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, today, when I was feeling better, we went to Canterbury, which is a two-hour drive away, and went and visited Canterbury, Canterbury Cathedral, which is just astounding, amazing to see. 
Um, we were there a good two hours looking at it. We had lunch. Now, the one thing I will say about the UK, they really hit you hard for parking. Um, they really want you to use public transport. For the two and a half hours, we were in Canterbury and parked the car. It cost us £12.30, which is about 25 Australian dollars, which for us, that's a, we complain about paying $3 for parking. That's astounding, but that's not unusual. And the apartment has free parking, but it's 10 minutes away, 10 minutes walk away. Up, well, to go to it, it's downhill. To get back to it, it's uphill. And you can't park anywhere out the front because we're on the main road. It's very quiet in the back of the apartment where we sleep. Um, and so the thing we'll have in the morning be taking the luggage down the hill, walking back up until we can load up the car. Um, it's the one drawback about this apartment. It's very modern and well appointed. But yeah, their system for parking and arranging key pickup was a little leads needs improvement. It's really quite um, quite difficult to get managed, but we've enjoyed our stay. It's been interesting to explore this type part of the world. So guys, you gotta let me know. I've noticed that I have passed 2,000 subscribers. So thank you to all those new subscribers that have joined me. I hope you enjoy the content. These videos are a little different for me, a bit about my travels, why I go places, and if I have to have yarn therapy. So what I'd like you to do, guys, is put in the comments below, I'm a hooker in my spare time, or crochet fills my days, which one should go in my 200,000 subscriber giveaway? I apologise, I had a coughing fit, which is been rare today. Yesterday I couldn't stop coughing. Today it's been fine. Just had one when I'm doing a video. So tell me which you think should go in the 2000 giveaway because one of them will and I'll go with what everyone votes on. I do like them both. And yes, thank you for subscribing. There will be more going in it. Um, you never know what I'll put in there as I travel around. We're going back to London tomorrow. Great to catch up with the son for a few days. He rang me the other day. He's booked tickets for a West End musical for us to go to. I know before we left, he asked me if I could had the opportunity to go to a musical, which one would I like? And I said to him, Wicked, Tina and Book of Mormon. And he said, well, Book of Mormon's just absolutely packed. You can never really get in there unless you book like months in advance. And then he rang to say hey, Wicked was booked out, but he got me tickets, or all of us tickets. We're going to see Tina in a West End show. That's something I have never done in London before, which truly surprised him. He thought I had. But yeah, we're off to see a musical and spend some more time with him before we fly off to Prague. So I hope you've enjoyed my second postcard. And let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed it and that if you enjoyed listening to Vera Lynn's White Cliffs of Dover, I enjoyed going there and thinking about my dad and sharing that special memory of listening to the music with him. So until next time, stay well, stay safe, and make sure you have one crafty day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.